get in here, get in here, get in here, because today is the day that you get two special things. You're gonna get a tour of my beautiful home, darling, but not too much just yet. And then you're also gonna see something I've been working on for, how long has it been, like a year it's now, Marco? Like, yeah, maybe, yeah. It's been a while, honey, been a okay? While. We've been working on this for a long time. I'm ready to share it with you, okay? So come into my home. Hello. Get in here, okay? So like I said, get in here, get in here, get in here. Get in here, get in here, get in here. Get in here, get in here, get in here to my home, darlings, okay? So as you all know, we've been decorating this house for like six months now. We had somebody, an uh, HGTV star, Justin Williams, he came in from Atlanta to help with decorating this. It has been overwhelming, but I'm so happy to share this with you all. So you're gonna get a two for one today. I'm gonna give you a tour of some of the, my most favorite spaces in my house. I'm gonna do that, but I'm also gonna show you something first. And as I give you a tour of my house, I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put these in my house. So I'm gonna strategically place them in different places in my house in order to inspire me and inspire you. So let me tell you a little backstory before we get into all this, okay? Picture it, 2020. Ronatona is ravaging the world, okay? I'm being a good little kitten, staying at home. I said, I don't wanna go out into the world, I wanna be safe, okay? So my home became my cocoon, really. And I said, if I'm gonna be at home all the time, I've gotta love every bit of my home. And one of the things that became really important to me was how my home smelled. You, you really don't notice how good your house smells or how bad your house smells until you're stuck there all the time, okay? So I'm sitting in my house and I would just start buying candle after candle after candle after candle because I like candles. I like spraying something in the air where the scent may last for a little while then it goes away. A candle just really, the smell just permeates your home for quite a while. So it's like, I start buying candle after candle after candle and then it occurred to me, well my dear, my darling, if you love candles this much, why don't you make one of your own? Okay, that's what I always say, darling. Make one for yourself. And so that's what I did. Look at this right now. I'm so happy to share this with you. Literally, we source scents from all around the world, literally all around the world to come up with these scents. No scent was good enough. Just to find the scents, it was over a three month process. My team kept mailing me scents. It was like, we can come to you. I said, don't y'all come to me, honey. I ain't got no staff working in the office right now. Everybody virtual these days, okay? I said, Ronatona. I said, y'all can figure it out. Y'all mail me the scents, I'll mail you the ones I like back. Cause y'all not coming to me, baby. Ronatona's in the world, okay? I love my staff, but I had to keep myself safe and keep them safe too. So anyway, over three months of searching scents from being sourced from all around the world, and this is what we came up with, darling. Are you all ready for MJ Harris at home? <laughs> so let me tell you, okay? Within my candle collection, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this! So um, they're available right now, unless they've sold out already, because I know they're going fast. We had several thousand people just within the first hour of me making the pre-announcement the other day, get on our email list and say they want to be notified the minute that the, candle, that the candles are made available. So as you're watching this video, people are being notified that the candles are available. So if you think you want these, you need to go right now, because you are literally competing with people right now who had a pre-notification set up for themselves, okay? But nonetheless, these are luxury soy candles, so I believe in keeping it all natural. This is my California collection, okay? We've got the Malibu candle, look at that. We've got Beverly Hills right here, and we've got Palm Springs, okay? That's what we've got here. I'm glad I got a good gel manicure before today, honey. All right, all shall be talking about me, okay? So listen, let's start with, which should we start with? Let's start with Beverly Hills, okay? And I'm gonna show you all a tour of the room that I'm gonna put this in and then explain to you all why it's going in that room, okay? I'm so excited! Marco, yeah. are you not excited? I'm excited. Are you ecstatic? I'm excited. Oh my goodness. Okay, come in here. So, the Beverly Hills candle is gonna go right here in my kitchen, but before I show you where it's going in my kitchen and why, let me give you an actual tour of my kitchen, okay? So this is my kitchen. Give them a good little pan, Marco. Just pan the room for them. Pan the room for them. Just spin it a little bit so they can see it. This is my kitchen. It is, I would say, a nice size kitchen. Our kitchen serves a couple of different purposes. First of all, it is home of Marco's epic junk food cabinet. Man, you know this what is your cabinet. Is, these are not. These are my talkies. Yeah. I like my talkies. 
monkeys, okay? I can't do them as much no more. My stomach was 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 fighting me the other morning. I woke up in the middle of the night at like 6.30 in the morning. No, my lord, I thought the exorcism was about to happen in my stomach, okay? It was craziness, okay? But no, this is my kitchen, okay? And do you wanna know my favorite part of my kitchen? It is not the professional um, range that we have here that clearly I use every day, which is why it looks brand new. I don't use it every day. What, what card do you say? She said, I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you how I got this ring, honey. Okay, let me tell you this, all right? I can cook, I just don't cook very often so I don't feel like it. I would clean if Marco wasn't so good at it because he's amazing at it. I, and I can't <laughs> take that away from him. I don't want to take that away from you. You're so good at it. You're so good at it, okay? So it's, this isn't my favorite space in the kitchen. This is actually just one big incense lighter. I use this to light incense. This is actually my favorite part of my kitchen. <laughs> my double toaster, because I have my toast in the morning with my little egg things, okay, they're so fabulous. Okay, but well, listen here, okay, we got the big kitchen here. Step back so they can see it. This is so fabulous, okay? You see all this, you see this, you see this, all right? And then here's my other favorite feature, my microwave. Now, I did not know how to get into this microwave at first. When they first put this in there, I was like, how the hell am I supposed to get in here? I said, Marco, what are we supposed to do? Look at how it works, and I hope it's clean inside. If it's not, then just ignore it, okay? Y'all's microwave ain't no cleaner than mine. Da, 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 da. And that's what happens. Now, I don't know how to work it just yet. So what I do is I literally just hit the sensor reheat button and then I just kind of let the, let the ancestors tell me when the food is done because I don't really know what to do. I don't know how to work the microwave. That's all right. This is my second favorite thing in here. My coffee maker for my mom. She sent me a coffee maker, okay? I got my Ninja in here. You can't see the blender because it's, it's in the um, professional dishwasher that I've got to run constant because Marco just runs through so many dishes. <laughs> I'm really the one. I always got to get a new glass. I always got to get a new everything when I'm, I do. I like that, okay? I, like, I said I work too hard to drink from a dirty glass, okay? So this is my kitchen. Let me show you the refrigerator, okay? Or as my Aunt Merlissia used to call it, she's called it the, the, the Frigidaire. She said, go in the Frigidaire or go in the icebox. That's what she's called it too. So anyway, in the Frigidaire, this is our refrigerator. So we got two sides here, okay? The first side right here is where we have our liquids, okay? Um, so here's the um, reduced milk for him. I like my oat milk right here. We go through tons of water. This is one of my favorite drinks, my Erewhon drinks, okay? They're like um, cold pressed juices. This is the, which one is this one? Red Roots, it's good. Okay, I like that, okay? I got my sugar free strawberry jam. I'm trying to keep it sugar free and natural these days as much as I can. Um, and then these are my cold pressed juices. The chef brings them by once a week. I, so I do vegan foods, two meals out the day, and a regular dinner. I'm not vegan, but I try to keep it cute. All right, but this is how our refrigerator looks. And then freeze it down below. And then on this side, da 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 da. You can always tell if someone's a bachelor by looking at the refrigerator, okay? Because literally I have my vegan meal prep. So uh, my chef, he does meal preps for me and he like prepares all the vegan foods for me, which I have found is cheaper than ordering out a lot. Cause I, I like Uber Eats, I do do that a lot. I like my DoorDash, I like all of them, okay? And it's nice for dinner, cause I, ain't, I don't really feel like cooking nothing. But for lunch, we have saved so much money by doing meal prep, it's so fabulous, okay? And then all of the mini condiments, cause I like my sauce, okay? But listen. I'm gonna put my Beverly Hills candle right here. And let me explain to you why this candle has so much meaning to me, okay? So when I first moved to LA, you have to picture this. I was full of dreams, but I did not have a bank account full of money at all. I came here and what I knew within myself was that this was the place that I believe that God was placing me to go after my dreams. And sometimes you just gotta trust that God, the universe, whatever you believe in, that that voice is speaking to you and speaking to you clearly, that when you have a dream within your heart, you need to go and pursue it, even if the road ahead doesn't look like it was paved. And when I got to LA, it did not feel like I was on a paved road. I didn't know anybody. I didn't know what opportunities I had. I was dependent on just selling life insurance at home at my little apartment to be able to finance myself of life insurance was my savior really because it provided me with an income stream while I tried to figure out what LA could be for me. I knew I liked being on camera, but I didn't even know how to do that that well at that time. So nonetheless, what I would do on Sundays in order to keep me inspired so I wouldn't quit and give up on my dreams was every Sunday, 
I would either go to super nice open houses. I wasn't going to some schleppy homes. I went to houses that were like $10 million or more, okay? I went to nice stuff, okay? So I would go to these really nice houses and, and I would go to high-end department stores on Rodeo Drive and stuff like that because seeing people living within wealth, seeing people going to wealthy places, it inspired me to know that that existed. And if they could have it, I could have it. That was my logic. You know, when I saw other people having nice things, I didn't get jealous. I would say, I can have that too. Or as Reverend Ike used to say, that's for me. And so my Beverly Hills candle is designed to smell just like the scents that I would smell every time I went to one of those department stores or open houses. Me and Mark were out like two weekends ago, three weekends ago. Yeah. All these houses were like 14, 15 million dollars. They all have a certain smell. It's like this beautiful floral scent that's not too masculine, not too feminine. It makes you feel like you in luxury, honey. When you when you smell those scents, you be like, yes, honey, bring the caviar. That's what it feels like. It's one of those kinds of scents, okay? So let me show y'all how we open this box and I'm gonna show you why I'm putting it in here, okay? Look, 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 look at did my nails look good, Marco? Yeah. Okay, good. That's all that matters. <laughs> Screw the candle. Candle. Okay, so look. So when you open the box, it comes off just like this, okay? It's got my nice logo on there, MJ at home. Okay, isn't that gorgeous? And then you go right here. Now, when you take this out, go slow with it when you take this out because one of the things you'll notice about my candles is I'm not doing one of these like one of these mid-market experiences. I'm giving you pure luxury. And in order to give you pure luxury, my candles come with a crystal top to them, okay? This is how this goes, honey, okay? This is all we do, because this is all we know how to do, okay? So look at this, look at this, look at this, okay? So what are you gonna notice about the candles? First of all, they are heavy. Look at this, look at this. I got a big head, honey, okay? My body's shaped like an upside down spoon. Big head, tiny body, okay? Listen, but even this candle's as big as my head. You see where I'm going with that? I love it. When you look at the candle, it's crystal. In addition to that, it's got wood wicks. Now, I know some folks have not seen wood wicks before, but here's the reason why wood wicks are so important. I love them because, in my opinion, they burn a lot cleaner. Um, I like them because of the fact they burn a lot slower. This is a luxury experience, so I wanted to design a candle that would allow you to really enjoy it for an extended period of time. As I mentioned, this is a luxury soy candle, so this is soy in here. It's so fabulous. You rub it on your fingers. I'm not saying use it for lotion, but literally, it makes me feel so moisturized. So anyway, what I love about this is because it has the top on it, after you've gone through the candle, which takes a while, then what you can do is like what I do upstairs in my bathroom, I have my Q-tips in this, okay? That's what's got the little top on it. I'm thinking of you, okay? Because that way you can always keep MJ in your home. Put your Q-tips in here, um, keep your change in here, um, maybe your like your cotton swabs that you used for doing your astringent and your toners and stuff like that. You can put that all in here. Look at that, it's so fabulous. So here's where I'm gonna put it at, okay? Because Beverly Hills inspires me to keep on working hard and keep on achieving, achieving more, I'm gonna put it right here in my lay office because my kitchen is also my office. Because as I mentioned before, my people work at home, okay? And I like to work at home too. So I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So let me explain to y'all why I have this duck right here. This, as you all know, is the Aflac duck. So one of the things I never expected when I moved to LA was that my platform would grow in such a way that I would become one of the most famous faces in the world for life insurance. I was selling life insurance to support myself. I never imagined that people would run to, up to me in the street and say, you're the life insurance guy. And so I learned to embrace it. At first I was like, I don't wanna be known for life insurance. You can't pray for more and ask for more and then tell God of the universe how to deliver it to you. I prayed and asked for abundance and God delivered it to me through the insurance industry. And I've learned to embrace my blessing in the form that has come. I keep this picture right here literally to be able to inspire me. So when I'm here working and stuff like that, I'm like, okay, okay, I'm here working, doing my thing. So I'm gonna have my Beverly Hills candle here. Okay, so I'm gonna light this right here. I'm gonna light this right here. And then when I'm working, look at that. It burns so pure. Okay, so when I'm working, I'm right here. I've got my Aflac duck looking at me, reminding me to embrace the blessings as they come. And I've got my candle to remind me of the scents that I love. Okay, let's go to my next room. For my living room, I'm going to give you all some Malibu. Malibu is my favorite place. I love Malibu. If you watch any of my videos, it is not a secret that I love Malibu and why I love Malibu. Okay, but I'll tell you, Malibu has so much meaning for me within my California collection because when I first moved to LA, I could not afford 
to pay anyone to film me. These videographers and editors are expensive. I couldn't afford that back then. I didn't have a home that I felt comfortable filming in because back then I lived in a little apartment. I had a sofa in the living room and a bed without a headboard. There was nothing inspiring about where I lived, but I knew I had inspiring words to share. And I never wanted my aesthetics in terms of what was around me to distract people from what I was saying on camera. So what I chose to do was I would go out to the beaches of Malibu and when I would go out to those beaches, I would film there because the beaches are pretty much all public access, so anyone can access them. And I would film out there because at the very least I would have a beautiful background that was free 99 and then people could watch me but also see the beautiful surroundings and have just an inspirational, aspirational experience to have them go after their dreams. So for that reason, I call this one my Malibu candle and I'm going to put this room, this one right here in my living room and I'm going to show you why in just a moment after I give you a quick tour of it, okay? So when you come into my living room, one of the things you're going to quickly notice, and of course, go to www.mjharrisathome.com. That's mjharrisathome.com. It's linked directly above or below this video to get your candles. But one of the things is when you come into my living room, one of the things you'll quickly see is that it's got an art gallery feel. When you look at this, it's designed to make you feel like an art gallery. We did not want to paint the walls. I want you to feel like you're coming into a place where literally your eyes are drawn to the art, and there's a specific reason why. These um, pictures here are by a photographer named David Bowen out of South Africa. These took months to come. They're so big that we had to have them put on a barge to get here. But these are all leaders from different countries in Africa. Dare I say it, kings and queens. And the reason that I wanted these here and I want them to be the focal point is because for me and nephew son Marco, when we're getting up here working and our behinds off to create our dreams and live our dreams, I want us always to, be, to know that we are surrounded by kings. So within this room, you've got these that are beautifully colorful and everything like that. You've got our wonderful chairs here. These, these are very comfortable, all right? It's just a very comfortable house. But let me show you this sofa, okay? This, look at this. This sofa right here is literally the most comfortable thing you will ever sit on in your life. It is so comfortable, all right? So sometimes we sit here and we watch TV, but I'm putting the Malibu can on this room because you'll notice that right out the window, of course, you see the pool. So this is the room where you see the most water in. So might as well put the Malibu candle in here. All right, look at this. All right, so take this one out. So you're gonna love this one. When I think about Malibu, I think of clean, crisp ocean breezes. And that's what this smells like. It smells like a clean, crisp ocean breeze. None of my candles are overly masculine or overly feminine. Anyone can light them. And in fact, to make sure that anyone can light them, I have my nephew son Marco help me pick them out, okay? Let me show you nephew son Marco, okay? <laughs> this is nephew son What's Marco, up, okay? Now I'm gonna tell you one thing about nephew son Marco. He is, Lord Jesus, I said, I said, Lord, when you bless me with, 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 with a baby, okay, and I know he's a big one, okay? I said, when you bless him, you bless me with the fact that I didn't have to do a potty training. Thank the Lord Jesus, okay? You bless me with the fact that his parents did such a wonderful job laying the foundation of his work ethic, his character. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you to his parents. I love it, okay? But you didn't tell me you was gonna bring me the straightest boy on earth, okay? Oh my God. God, okay, he is so hyper masculine about everything the way he walked, the way he talked, he just everything. I'm like, Lord Jesus, I don't have a soft bone in his body, okay? I'm like, Marco, you soften up, that ain't him. But it was wonderful to have him help me pick out my, um, my candles because I said, listen, if he likes the scent, then I know these other more masculine fellas out here are gonna like it too, okay? And so this is this one. Like I said, go slow when you take them out the pack, all right? Here's the top of it right here. This also has a wood wick. I love this. And I want it to be just very clear and crisp and everything like that. It reminds me of driving up the Pacific Coast Highway and seeing those really big white houses along the beaches of Malibu. It reminds me of the beautiful sands. It just reminds me of just how Malibu, how Malibu feels. It's just so, oh, it's just so crisp and clear. And when I go there, it clears my head. So I couldn't have any color other than this nice clear color right here. Isn't that gorgeous? It's really gorgeous, okay? And I'm gonna put this one right here in my living room. Okay, now here's one of the things about my living room that you'll notice. First of all, I've got crystals all over the place. They all have different meetings. I love my incense, so I've got a whole box. I've got a whole incense box in here. We always have incense lit. Let's see which one. Ooh, let's do the money one. I love it. It'll complement the Beverly Hills scent 
in the kitchen. If you didn't see yet, this is how it looks over here in the corners of the room. I love this. I love this. I love this. Now, let me show you my final candle. And like I said before, as this video is premiering right now, we have literally let the world know about this candle collection that's come out. People have been waiting for it for a while. We have several thousand people who've signed up for advanced notifications. So if you want these, do not wait. Go to www.mjharrisathome.com. That's www.mjharrisathome.com to get your candles. And I'm gonna tell you a little trick, okay? We have new things coming out. We also have more of these coming out. So if you know you or someone who likes candles, subscribe to, so you can get these candles sent to you on a reoccurring basis, okay? Because when we sell out, we may not be able to add more people to the subscription list, so this is a way to make sure you always have those candles, okay? Here's my Palm Springs collection. Let me take you where I'm gonna put them upstairs. I'm putting them in the boudoir! In my bedroom. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. So this is my bedroom. It's very calm. I think that people probably expect that like I'm gonna have like cheetah print and leopard print and all that kind of stuff in my bedroom. Just just lots and lots of just the sequins and stuff like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But my bedroom is actually much like my personality when I'm not working. It's chill as I don't know what. Okay? So in my bedroom, one of my favorite parts of my bedroom is this. This is another David Ballum. This is um these are tribal leaders in Africa, they're on the water. I love waking up every morning just to see that right there. You know, we've got this. This is, I keep this right by my bed. It's my Father's Day card from Marco. It's my first Father's Day card ever, and I keep that right there, I do. It makes me feel very, very good. But this is my bed. I got my fluffy chairs that look like a skinned poodle, but it's not a skinned poodle there, all right? And then we've got all this going on here. My nice bed, California King, honey. Make sure you got a California King. Here's my thing, okay? I like that when I'm in bed, I like to be able to spread out in there. And you know, and when I when I have, you know, a suitor in here, okay? I like to make sure that we can kind of hug and see each other, but I need you to go over here until the morning when I want to see you again, okay? I'm good with you being over there. So with that said, California King, I highly recommend them, okay? So nonetheless, over here, we've got, pictures this is my grandmother her name is glory she was the one who inspired me to come into the life insurance industry that is my mom she's the person who really has helped me grow within so many different parts of my life she really has um, she's been literally in my corner at every point in time I couldn't have asked for another or a better mother and this is my bed let me show you okay let me show you so this is the Palm Springs candle I'm putting this in my bedroom because my bedroom feels like I'm on staycation every time I come into my room. It feels like a place of refuge away from the rest of the world. And that's what Palm Springs was for us. During the pandemic and during when everything was going crazy, I just wanted to get away. And when Marco came to live here, we said, why don't we go out to the desert for like a week? We loved it so much that we ended up staying out there for a good part of, of um, last year. Um, it was just crazy. And so long story short, Palm Springs reminds me of being able to be in your own little cocoon with people that you love you know it, 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 it's calm it's relaxing it's just when you're in the desert you feel like you're away from the rest of the world in a weird kind of way it's so nice and that's what this reminds me of the scent is actually Marco's favorite scent he loves I this do. scent this is it yeah I I'm gonna show you it is so nice okay I'm gonna take this off I love this it's so luxurious so luxurious okay all right so this is the palm springs one. let me show you how this looks okay so look at this again it's got the two books because it's palm springs i was like you know what let's make it have a rainbow color in palm springs you have the gays and you got the grays so it's a great place for seniors and a great place for the gays okay everyone's just loved and accepted there so this is how the candle looks here look at that look at that look at that look at that it's so gorgeous this the scent is almost like a um it's like a fruity <laughs> it's like a fruity kind of scent basically um it is so bright you always feel good when you smell this beverly hills makes you feel luxurious malibu makes you feel like you just easy breezy living by the water you know that that izzy brother song groove with you that's what the malibu candle reminds you of it just reminds you of just being by the ocean with somebody you love singing groove with you you know that song marco love that song <laughs> you love that song i was like i didn't know you knew that and the izzy brothers was i walked by the stairs i heard him singing so loud i was downstairs and i heard him singing in his bathroom but that's what that one reminds you of and then of course Palm Springs 
it's like fun in the sun. That's the smell is, okay? So nonetheless, go to www.mjharrisathome.com to get your candles. Make sure you subscribe so you can get candles every single month. And I want to thank you so much for coming into my home. I can't wait to have you back. MJ Harris at home, babies. Mm -hmm. Love y'all.